Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, as I sort of said in my previous videos, it will be a run through or a road to glory type thing of, of what I'm getting up to each day. So today, with my null sort of being eligible for a, uh, a rank three, I thought I got to get through Act 6.2, 6.3 and 6.4. So I took on the 6.2.2 today with that horrible Mr. Sinister boss, which hopefully some people will will stick around for at the end and, and, and we'll be able to see sort of how I took him on and, and, and good counters for for him. So I started off with the Punisher. He's You obviously take a lot of block damage with the Punisher, it's, unless you've got Tigra, which I, I do have Tigra, but I didn't put her in because of the, the Heimdall synergy. Due to the need for the Fury and in the Mr. Sinister fight, which sort of we'll get to at the end, but... Mainly the yeah the whole premise of this was was no basically ruining pu through Punisher and then Ultron is is the next fight. Uh, Noel takes him again with that sort of passive true st strike that comes from which is sort of in his deck which is you know perfect for for taking on Ultron with, with all those evades. A couple times I'd sort of try and get those those exhaustion buffs on me. Just extra willpower healing after the first Punisher fight. There's quite a few good counters for for this uh, this Ultron. Vision Arcus is also... Uh, I've also got him as uh, a rank 5, 4... No, 5 star rank 4, sorry. Uh, he's very good at taking on Ultron with the with the cold snap and the, and the armor shattered, which sort of allows him to not take any... or build any power. He's sort of perfect for this. As I said uh, just now, very limited on sort of the champions that I take in because you have to have that Heimdall synergy in there with, with Hela or Angela. In my case, it was Hela just because I had her as sort of a basic star I hadn't ranked up yet. But yeah, that, that that's the Ultron fight and that'll be going on sort of in the background as I just want to sort of speak on on, on what the channel is going to be. And, and obviously, I, I know I've made that video already, but this is sort of the template that I was going to go with where record sort of you know, fast forward all of the uh, the sort of champ uh, defenders on on the paths, and then get to the final boss and sort of play them out at um, at normal speed, just to sort of help anyone show it everyone how I went, and um, sort of which way was was easiest for that really. Obviously, on screen I I must have misclicked there, so don't know why I didn't get straight into that X twenty three fight. This wasn't uh, my first run of the path obviously it was it was being honest it was probably my second or third I sort of I went yesterday and and I gave it a go sort of to understand the nodes and then so luck sort of luckily I had Kitty Pride here to to shred through and, and not have that in or have that immunity to incinerate which sort of allowed me to to shred through these these champs with that uh the four guaranteed hits but yeah as I was as I was saying um Sort of, I, I hope this is what the uh, the channel can be, and it will sort of be a recording of of my progress and and somewhere for me to sort of show what I'm doing. If I'll also sort of uh, uh, tag this and title this as sort of a a helpful guide through six point two point two, just to help anyone out there who's seeing it, or or if you're seeing this for the first time, skip to the end, or or um and or if you're struggling with the Mr. Sinister fight and sort of see what, what I did there. Obviously the nodes in, on this one were quite difficult. It was the four guaranteed hits and you get an incinerate. And the, um, obviously the, that being the local node and then having the sort of champ defendant or defender specific nodes that, that each one had. This old man Logan was quite, quite a pain to fight with the Bane I sort of at one point forgot that I had Bane on me or that it was a Bane fight so it took a lot of health that being in there was a bit of a surprise but after sort of dealing with the the paths before the collector you sort of get used to Bane and it makes it a lot easier so obviously while this is going on um like I said feel free to skip to the end but if you if you want to stay and watch the fight so you want to stay and listen to me then you know perfect so obviously coming up in the next week, we have the um, the new Black Panther quest 
coming in on a, on a Wednesday, with the new champions being Shuri and Atuma. Quite interested in those champs, I think. A bit of a shame. We I had a sort of a conversation on Twitter with with Richard Mann the other day, and and sort of asked what his opinions on it. And I do like the Shuri, and I I think it's a good idea. I I do really like the Atuma. With the Shuri, I was sort of hoping it would be, you know, Mbaku or a new sort of Black Panther suit. I, Rich was sort of saying in, in, in the Twitter replies that he um he already feels that there's three Black Panthers. Obviously, you've got Black Panther Civil War, OG Black Panther, and then Killmonger. But I thought maybe a third one, a tech-based one, if it is Shuri sort of in the suit in the new film. Obviously, that film hasn't come out yet, so we're sort of yet to see that. But that would have been really nice, I guess, because of the way that the the quest is when it's supposed to come out. Maybe they couldn't show that. I, I don't know. But I was sort of hoping for more of a, maybe just a bit of a different champion, because a lot of the champions at the minute sort of build on that, build on that sort of heavy damage or build up sort of somebody like Gallon or Quicksilver with the lots of whiplashes and then they detonate or with Gallon the... Um, harvesting of his planetary mass and then that de detonates i do like that but there's sort of no real counter for that yet which i guess sometimes you can't really have you sort of have to have it in the champion but i don't know i feel like that would have been nice to have that in there and whether tumor i think uh obviously not, no one's seen the film yet or not having seen the film yet i'm quite intrigued to see what his character will, will have and and sort of where sort of the MCU will, will take him take him and Namor really but for the game I thought he was sort of maybe the best choice other than having sort of two Black Panther based champions obviously Atuma would be more of a similar to Namor even though he's skill and Namor is obviously a mutant uh, which we all, we all knew was, was going to be the case sort of there was no real other option for for Atuma to be But yeah, let me let me know what your thoughts are in the comments or, or hit me up on Twitter, which will be in the description again. We'll have, we can have a conversation about it, see what everyone else's thoughts are. You know, my thoughts might be might be wrong, and there might be, you know, people that have wanted to see the Shuri on her own and not in sort of the Black Panther suit. But you know, we yet to see. So coming on to this Emma Frost fight, this is sort of the next. Uh, as you could could see in my previous fight, I made a mistake with Kitty Pride and sort of got hit by that big, that big Deadpool SP three, and then just kept. He just wouldn't. Some of these champs just won't won't throw their special attacks. You sort of sat there for ages trying to trying to get them to play. I think here again, I got saved by that Heimdall synergy of of him sort of making you indestructible and and unstoppable if you're about to die. So that sort of saved me. And then from there, I sort of had to play it safe. And But yeah, Emma Frost can be really tricky, really tricky fight if you're not used to those reverse controls. But also if she doesn't chuck any of the reverse controls or any of her special attacks, it, it can be a real pain to get around this strange energy that she has if, or, or power, sorry, that she has of, of sort of building it off blocked hits or if the blocked hit make does zero damage then they she gains more power it's very strange and can take a long time to sort of get used to as obviously i still got hit then close to the end of the fight and yeah got got fully knocked out on that one as well luckily i sort of had that hella in there to obviously only a weak six star but you know she still did a job on and just managed to, to hit those final pieces of health that emma frost had left and then knocked her out in the end which means we'll be coming up to the, the Mr. Sinister fight in a second. But just uh, one quick last one before we get on to that, that Mr. Sinister fight. I was sort of interested in making a little tier list video. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of those out there, but I feel like if people are are interested in seeing it, then uh, you know, let me know in the comments or I'll, I'll put a little poll out to see if that's what people are interested in. Obviously, there's still not many people on this, not many subscribers or or anything like that, but if you just come across a video and you, and you th think, oh, tier list might be for me, obviously you have the big creators making tier lists, but I feel like a bit more of a more in-depth tier list would be quite nice for some players. So yeah, please just let me know. Coming on to it, 
onto the Mr. Sinister fight. So he has quite a few different nodes. So the genetic perfection is not one that you should be too worried about. It can be a bit of a pain, but that cau caustic temper at the bottom where he inflicts a 50% chance of inflicting a poison on you when struck. I mean, you have to go with somebody who's poison immune. I sort of ranked up my immortal abomination. But you also got to have that fury. So there's no one who's shock immune, which you need because um, he can pass those shock, big shocks on. But you haven't, I haven't got anyone who's shock immune, fury, who has a fury and is also poison immune. There isn't a champion in the game who who has that yet. There might be one of the newer ones, but sort of in the uh, none that I had possession of. So obviously, as you can see, there was it was quite tricky, and I sort of thought about well, trying to get those acid burns on on Mister Sinister might sort of be the best way to go. Obviously, he's not taking much damage from the the poison, but with that sort of infinite fury buff that Heimdall gives, obviously he is the key to the fight. Heimdall, he might not you might not even fight with him on the quest, but you just got to take him to to sort of have along with you and and make it. So you can get this fury buff, and th and then you can sort of use any champion you want as long as you, you know, uh, swipe back, hold for one and a half seconds, and then, and you get that fury. So I tried fighting with the the Heimdall here, and it just, you'll see sort of what I I sort of did it for the content purposes, where you can see how many poisons are put on him. If they're not poison immune, there's no chance. They really have to be poison immune, or they have to be able to shrug them off. And sort of, I thought my six star immortal abomination was sort of maybe the best way to go. But yeah, can. So I thought I'd, I'd give him a revive and, and, and see if I can get back, get back on to this Mr. Sinister and, and take him in, you know, take him in three. Which actually, after sort of I read the nodes a bit more or read the Helen, Hella information, see if she was poison immune, she's not. So I thought I'll, I'll revive my eye bomb, take him in again since poison immune is, is sort of a must have and obviously having to use units which wasn't the best with cyber cyber monday and black friday coming up but that's the way it is you know got to get i got to get through this to get to to throne breaker so yeah, it'll be tricky but that's sort of the way I'm going to have to go so you'll see that I, I I do actually get quite lucky here or and 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 I, I managed to take Mr Sinister in one you know in in this fight really those things Heimdall that Heimdall synergy with either Hela or Angela obviously if you've got a high Hela or Angela you'd you'd rather take Angela she is a much better champion and with that regeneration rate is is a lot easier but just having them in there to sort of put a put a fury buff on on your best champ or, or the champ that you think will will bear sort of take on Mr. Sinister the, the best that's that will sort of be the way that most people have to go. So it's, it's the way I went with with eye bomb. Obviously, as I've said, being poison immune is you got to you have to have that poison immunity. Otherwise, you get absolutely shredded. Sort of, it was a a constant theme going in these acts was that um, they just none of the none of the defenders were throwing their special attacks. Not a single one. Like even that Deadpool at the end, who's normally somebody who always chucks their special attacks often just just wouldn't wouldn't throw them at all and it was it was really really weird i don't know if other people will have come into the same sort of issues as i have on this one i, I don't know i haven't i i must admit i haven't played my best i sort of getting knocked down with Noel, and then knocking it and then getting him knocked out and then the same with kitty pride was a bit of an issue and, and this first fight with eye bomb sort of caps my uh my overall performance on this quest really are not great and sort of a poor effort but you know we get we get through them anyway and that tends to be the way with mcoc most of the time but you know you never know the next next quest might you might go through flawlessly and not have to use any revives on your champions end with 80 percent health each you know that just tends to be the way it goes but as you can see that acid burn did so much damage that it, it did put him very much very close to the end and I sort of going into it, I didn't I didn't think I'd be able to do it that way I didn't think I'd be able to do it in one but here we are I got lucky and 
the acid burns sort of building up and and coming at once you'll see in the minute this this next acid burn i think is a, a sort of stack of them or, or the previous one was i'm not sure which i think it might be this one where i get lucky and oh no it finishes them off with an acid burn sorry the the last one was a two or so yeah all in all this mr sinister fight is very difficult and is one of the harder bosses that I've come across so far. It just with that caustic temper on it, meaning you have to be poison immune, can just be. I don't think Kabam did a very good job creating this boss. Like he is, he is difficult, but having it all rely on one single champion like Heimdall, like Heimdall for me was a champion I didn't want. I, I won't upgrade him, but I just got lucky that I got him in a six star basically. And you know, if you if you didn't get that lucky, then that's unfortunate, and it's a pain. It's a real pain. And then your account has become a lot, lot less limited. So obviously there you can see, like, I've, I haven't even ranked him up yet. I, I may have put, like, a couple levels into him. But I'll show the sy synergy on with, with Hela that gives this sort of permanent fury buff. Uh, if you if you swipe back and hold. So if you've got Heimdall, perfect. Take your favourite champion in. If not, you've got a lot less sort of counters to do it. And you have to get somebody who's who has a fury on them. Somebody like Hyperion with the heavy attacks. But then... I think he's also poison immune, so that that works quite nicely. But yeah, you're very limited on on the champions you take. So that's sort of my tips guide showcasing the way how I went through it. If you think that will help you, or if you're you know you're watching this video for the first time, please just give it a like or or do subscribe and stay around. Like I said in the video, there might be a tier list coming. You know, whatever people are interested in, I'll be hopefully I'll um you know I'll see you guys again soon. Have a good day.